I want to tell you about radium. A most peculiar and remarkable element because it does not behave as it should. Professor Lippmann, I want to protest in the strongest possible terms. My equipment was moved again last night. There's a simple reason for that. No, more than simple. It is a distinct lack of respect by those who share your laboratory with me. If a scientist's equipment cannot be kept in the precise positions in which it was then left... Then we are is not scientist. I couldn't agree more. Then all I need is your assurance that it is for that this it reason I must ask you please to leave my laboratory. Leave? We cannot keep you in the manner you require. But I have nowhere else to go. Then you'll have to set up a laboratory of your own, Mademoiselle Skodowska. Apologize. No, never. I will find my own way. Hello. I stand beside you merely because you look as awkward as I feel, and I made the. Do I seem awkward? I think a correct assumption that we will look less awkward standing together I don't feel awkward. than we might standing apart. I'm Pierre Curie. You do like your name, don't you? That's the second time you've told me it. I read your paper on the magnetic properties of steel. It contains some exceptional science. Thank you. Just to be clear, I refuse to be grateful for a scientist offering another scientist a room. I'm more than capable and my work is... Well, I think your ingratitude is entirely correct. And also, I feel it's worth pointing out that I will not be your mistress. The thought hadn't occurred to me. And I won't tolerate meddling. I, I will not be told how my experiments will be optimised better. I will not be told... Well, I enjoy how... sharing science and I think that by I working I will not together... tolerate it. What are you looking for? I find it easier to observe when I'm not talking. I measure uranium and I discover less radiations than I do in its ore. The ore is more powerful than the element. Exactly. And I can't There must be work. some anomaly in the results. I've run the same test six times. I get identical results. My instinct is that there is another element that's skewing the results. You think you found an undiscovered element? If you're laughing at me, then I'm... No, I'm not laughing at you. That's exciting. Radium? A pinprick of radium. Gathered from four tons of pitch blend. There's more to find. But... Isn't it the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? And you're sure? You're sure of it? I'm certain. Yes. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. We are here to present to you two new elements. Polonium and radium. We all thought that atoms were finite and stable. Well, it turns out some of them are not. And in their instability, they emit rays. I have called this Radioactivity. We are here to tell you that you have fundamentally misunderstood the atom. The papers seem outraged by the idea that women might have pleasure in their lives. But these are intimate pleasures. You're talking here of sex, yes. The Royal Swedish Academy of Science has seen fit to, uh, I have been awarded the Nobel Prize again, this time for chemistry. For what? For my extraction of the elements radium and polonium. Congratulations, Mother. Congratulations, Mother. And they have suggested that I do not come to avoid unnecessary controversy. Well. You have a PhD? This isn't a job interview. Do you have a PhD? Shut up, Eve. I do. I do have a PhD. And your thesis was on... Mother! Mr. Jolio, do you have interesting observations to make about the weather, about the political system, about the transport system? No. Do you love science? <laughs> of course I love science. I love your daughter, <laughs> and I love science. He loves your daughter. 
Let us take your love for my daughter as read and talk us out. Now, with a mobile radiography unit, we can be x-raying troops before deciding whether they need amputation. Surely you can see that Madame this is... Madame Curie, all I can see is an impractical measure proposed by a woman I know to be eminently practical. I need funds. I need access. I need the ability to go out on the battlefields. You must grant it me. Why, pray, must I do that? Partly because it is right. Partly because I am needed. But mostly, mostly because I am sick and tired. I cough blood most nights, and this is my last fight. And I will win it.